This is HBO's industry, and we are at Pierpoint Investment Bank. I used to work as a sales in an investment bank, and I find they've done an amazing job at making it look real. So we're about to start a morning meeting. It's a short scene, but it's packed with insights about the reality of a job there. I want to bang the drum this morning. Rishi and the traders will be in shortly with their axes. We're talking about a critical element of a trading desk, axes. It means that the bank has a particular interest in selling or buying a specific instrument. It's because the bank is a market maker, it executes clients' orders, and therefore it doesn't choose the position it will end up with. It could be that a big trade has been executed and now sits in the book, and it needs to be balanced. Maybe because of the risk limits, or maybe because of the trader's view on the assets. The, of course, the traders can hedge themselves in the market, but it's much better for them if they can use the client's flow. And that's why the sales are here to push the axe. Double sales credits to anyone who fills them this month. Which brings us to sales credit. Sales credit is the most important aspect of a sales compensation. You could think that the traders give you a price and you sell it at a margin, and that margin, which is the PL, is what's taken into consideration. And very often, sales credit is just that, the PL you generated. But in practice, it's a lot more subtle. It's not like cash that's directly linked to sales. It's something that can be used to motivate the staff and to reach strategic goals. Also means that how you get paid at the end is not that transparent. Our worldview today is what we own and what our traders own. So this could be the mantra of the sales team in any investment bank, not just today, every day. But obviously on the pitch deck, what you see is client first, uh, we serve our clients, etc. Here, what you see is that the sales are here to serve the bank's books. Morning, kids. Eric. Sorry. Right. So, we've got some mid-market offers on some corporate bonds. So, the trader expresses his access by a super competitive price. Instead of the regular bid offer, their offer will be at the mid. So, the bank should win all the trades against the competitors. But as we've seen, it's not here an opportunity for the sales to take a higher commission. I would love them to be moved this morning. Here, they will just pass on the price of the trader to the client. And that also explains why we need sales credits and not just PL. Actually, are such an important topic that we will visit them again because they are about risk management and also about technology. Thanks for watching.